The idea that there's something immediately nefarious, college costs are rising faster than inflation, is simply false. The reason why college costs tends to go up faster than the inflation rate is because we have had rapid economic growth over the past hundred years. Well, the sort of starting point for almost every, any book that's been written about higher education in the last 40 years is the observation that the cost of uh, higher education has gone faster than the inflation rate. They then decide it must be something wrong with higher education. If you turn that question around and say, why have the price of other goods gone up more slowly than higher education? It makes you look at different things. We take an aerial approach to studying higher education. Instead of looking uh, specifically at the, the books of colleges and universities to find why they are misbehaving, we examine the industry of higher education in the context of the entire industrial structure of the country and the economic history of the last hundred years. You don't want to go to the barber who's the fastest barber in town. If, if he were the fastest barber in town, he'd be the most productive barber, but wouldn't get any customers. When we reduce class sizes to, to do these, these kinds of, of uh, intensive experiences with students, our measured productivity goes down. Uh, so personal services, part of what you're buying is the time of the dentist or the lawyer or the barber or the college professor. Since the late 1970s, early 1980s, uh, the supply of worker, of highly educated workers as a percentage of the labor pool has sort of begun to flatten off, but the demand has continued to rise. So this is a force for increasing wages of the highly educated. Now, some industries can shed those people uh, in favor of machinery. Yeah, the, the sort of best example of a, what used to be an artist in industry that pr provides a service that has shifted is uh, uh, the services of brokers. And people point a finger at distance learning, distance education, and say, well, what can't that do to higher education? What um, online trading and the web has done for brokerage services? Break the link between the service provider and the consumer. The answer is, for higher education, that distance learning can, can do a lot for us. Uh, but that we don't, we're, we're, not fair, we're not too sanguine about the ability of distance learning completely to change higher education, 180, uh, or 90, whatever, uh, and turn it from an artisan industry into just another commodity industry where technological change makes cost go down. The typical way that people talk about affordability is what percentage of your income does it take to purchase a higher education. Our view of it is that the right way to think about affordability is, uh, changes in affordability, is if you can buy that and everything else you used to buy and have more money left over, then nothing has become less affordable. There are periods in which the amount of money left over goes down. In fact, over the past five or six years, that's the case. We've had a, a decrease in affordability for the median household, uh, but not over the past 40 years. If you want to know who is going to be finding college less affordable, it's not people with above median incomes. Financial aid is supposed to overcome the problems of, of the income distribution, uh, and needy students uh, should find enough financial aid to, to go. What happens is that they give up before they've investigated financial aid. And part of the problem there is that the way we deliver financial aid is incredibly complex. If you, if you ask uh, most families from lower income groups to explain how the Pell Grant program works, I think you'll get a lot of blank looks. What that means is the program is not reaching a substantial fraction of the target group, and it's not reaching them because there's a failure of comprehension. Unlike most parts of state government, colleges and universities have a potential revenue source. And and you can't charge the prisoners more for, for, for their rent. We used to be state-supported, and then we uh, became state-assisted, and now we're state-located.